Yeah, well, we now know this morning the name of the man who was in the home who was killed by the fire. His name Wilson Scott Thacker, 66 years old, lived in the home here behind us where that fire happened with his mother and other brother here. Now, it was such an active scene here when we arrived, still an active scene. I'm going to step out of the camera here just so you can take a close look here. Uh, there are still investigators. The American Red Cross just showed up a short while ago, uh, and fire crews will be here. Police will be here. Also, the state fire marshal. Video we have here shows the scene a short while ago, investigators made their way here just after 2 a.m. What they found when they arrived, a man, that's Mr. Thacker, dead in a bedroom. They say that, you know, they haven't figured out exactly what happened at this point, but there's a high likelihood that this may have been caused because he may have been smoking in bed. Now, the state fire marshal still to be here at this point to take a closer look at exactly how this happened, but a moment of courage in this story, too, as Mr. Thacker's mother heard the smoke detectors, ran out of the house for help. Take a listen. Uh, an elderly female was able to evacuate the residence. Uh, she was uh, awakened by a working smoke detector that was inside. Now, this is just one of those moments that it really pays to have those smoke detectors in. We're learning from this. You know, those smoke detectors can save a life. At this point now, the family just in sheer devastation. We're told they're in a home, a neighbor's home next door, all there kind of talking and trying to get through all of this. As we mentioned, state fire marshal, police, other people will be here taking part in not only boarding up the home, but also investigating how this all happened. And, of course, we will continue to follow this story and bring you the very latest as we move through the morning. For now, we're live in Lebanon, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.